Question 96.11. Questioner, was there a significance with respect to the hawk that landed the other day just outside the kitchen window? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. We may note that we find it interesting that queries offered to us are often already known. We assume that our confirmation is appreciated. Question 96.12. Questioner, this seems to be connected with the concept of the bird being messengers in the tarot and this was a demonstration of this concept. Cause I was wondering about the mechanics, you might say, of this type of message. I assumed that the hawk was a messenger, and I assumed that as I thought of the possible meaning of this with respect to our activities I was in the state of free will, getting a message in the appearance of this very unusual bird, unusual, I say, in that it came so close. I would be very interested to know the origin of the message. Would Ra comment on this, please? Answer, I am Ra. No. Question 96.13. Questioner, I was afraid that you would say that. Am I correct in assuming that this is the same type of communication as depicted in card number 3 of the Catalyst of the Mind? Answer, I am Ra. We may not comment due to the law of confusion. There is an acceptable degree of confirmation of items known, but when the recognized subjective sigil asterisk is waved and the message not clear, then it is that we must remain silent. Asterisk sigil, a seal or signet, a mark or sign supposed to exercise occult power, Less than El Sigillum Seal. Question 96.14. Questioner, would Ra comment on the technique of blessing the water that we will use to sprinkle the salt? I assume that we just sprinkle the water directly off of our fingertips onto the line of salt. How much water, in general, should be sprinkled on the salt? How wet should we get it? I would like to get this done right. Answer, I am Ra. The blessing of the water may be that one we have previously given, or it may be that one which is written within the liturgy of this instrument's distortion of the worship of the one creator, or it may simply be obtained from what you call your Catholic Church in the form of holy water. The intention of blessing is the notable feature of blessed water. The water may be sprinkled not so that all salt is soaked but so that a goodly portion has been dampened. This is not a physical working. The substances need to be seen in their ideal state so that water may be seen to be enabling the salt. Question 96.15 Questioner, I have planned to redraw the tarot cards omitting the extraneous additions by those who came after Rai and I would like quickly to go through those things that I intend to eliminate from each card and ask Rai if there is anything else that should be eliminated to make the cards as they were before the astrological and other appendages were added. I would eliminate all of the letters from the edge of the card with the possible exception of the number of the card. That would be the case for all of the cards. In card number one I would eliminate the star, the wand in the magician's hand, and I understand that the sphere remains but I am not really sure where it should be. Would Ra comment on that please? Answer, I am Ra. Firstly, the elimination of letters is acceptable. Secondly, the elimination of stars is acceptable in all cases. Thirdly, the elimination of the wand is appropriate. Fourthly, the sphere may be seen to be held by the thumb and index and second finger. Fifthly, we would note that it is not possible to offer what you may call a pure deck, if you would use this term, of tarot due to the fact that when these images were first drawn there was already distortion in various and sundry ways, mostly cultural. Sixthly, although it is good to view the images without the astrological additions, it is to be noted that the more general positions, phases, and characteristics of each concept complex are those which are significant. The removal of all the distortions is unlikely and, to a great extent, unimportant. Question 96.16 Questioner, I didn't think that we could ever remove all the distortions but it is very difficult to work with or interpret these cards because of the quality of the drawing, and as we go through them we get a better idea of what some of these things are and how they should be drawn. I think that we can improve on the quality of the cards and also remove some of the extraneous material that is misleading. On the second card we should remove the letters and the stars. At the center of the female form here she is wearing something that looks something like a crux and zeta and we should change that. Is that correct? Answer, I am Ra. We perceive an incomplete query. Please re-question. Question 96.17. 
Questioner, I think that I should put a crux and zeta in the place of this thing that looks a little like a crux and zeta on the front of the female. Is that correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 96.18. Questioner, then as to the thing that she wears on her head, that, I believe, is a bit confusing. What should it be shaped like? Answer, I am Ra. We shall allow the student to ponder this point. We note that although it is an astrologically based addition to the concept complex it is not entirely unacceptable when viewed with a certain feeling. Therefore, we suggest, O oh student, that you choose whether to remove the crown or to name its meaning in such a way as to enhance the concept complex. Question 96.19 Questioner, would Ra please give me any information possible on the ratios of dimensions, and the shape of the crux and zeta as it should be made or drawn? Answer, I am Ra. No. Question 96.20 Questioner, in card number 3 we will remove all the letters and the stars and I assume that the little cups around the outside of the rays representing the sun should be removed? Is that correct? Answer, I am Ra. Yes. Question 96.21 Questioner, in card number 4 we will remove all the letters and the stars and it seems that again we have a situation of removing the wand and putting the sphere in the hand. Is that correct? Answer, I am Ra. Again, this is a matter of choice. Though astrological in nature, this particular scepter has possibilities of relevance in the originally intended concept complex. This instrument is experiencing some small lack of that distortion which you call proper breathing due to the experience of your near past, as you perceive it. Therefore, as this instrument has requested a substantial enough amount of transferred energy to be retained that it might effect a comfortable re-entry, we shall at this time ask for one more query, after noting the following. We did not complete our statement upon the dimensions of the crux and zeta. It is given in many places. They are decisions to be made as to which drawing of this image is the appropriate one. We may, of course, suggest viewing the so-called Great Pyramid if the puzzle is desired. We do not wish to work this puzzle. It was designed in order that in its own time it be deciphered. In general, of course, this image has the meaning previously stated. Question 96.22 Questioner, is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or to improve the contact? Answer, I am Ra. Continue in harmony, communication, praise, and thanksgiving. We would note that this instrument's distortions would be lessened were it to refrain from the speaking to some extent for a diurnal period or perhaps two if the difficulty remains. We would also recommend against the activity such as running which would cause rapid respiration. This after effect of the greeting is not necessarily long-lasting. However, as this instrument has some blood vessels in the forward regions of the skull, that is, the integument covering the skull, which are greatly swollen at this time and since this instrument has a distortion known as the streptococcal infection, it is best to be full of care for a short period in order that the distortions do not catapult the entity into longer term after effects. All is well. We find the alignment satisfactory. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and light of the Infinite One. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the One Infinite Creator. Adonai.